Malar implants or cheek implants are prosthetic devices similar to implants we place in other places that are placed on top of the cheekbone underneath your eyeball. So if you feel right below your eyeball, you have your cheekbone right here. We call that the orbital rim. The malar implants are anchored and placed on top of that bone to increase the projection of your cheekbones. The implants are placed through an incision on the inside of your lower eyelid, and the implants are anchored in place or held in position on top of the bone with small titanium screws. You do need to be asleep for this operation because I do need to pass those titanium screws into your orbital rim to anchor the malar implant in place. The recovery from malar implant placement is very similar to recovery from a lower eyelid blepharoplasty, so I will refer you to that video. The goal, the purpose of a malar implant placement is to improve the projection of the cheekbones. So there are some people who have a negative vector, in other words, they have very recessed cheekbones, and a malar implant is a good solution to increase the projection of their lower orbital rim which is essentially your cheekbone. Now, if it's a very mild problem, it may be simpler to have fat grafting or fat injected to the malar region or your upper cheek. So sometimes a better solution is just to have some fat grafts or fat injected to that area. If, a, if it is a significant deficiency and you need a significant improvement in the projection of the bony aspect of your orbital rim and cheekbone, that's when malar implants are a good solution. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.